All right, guys. Hey, this is Aaron here again with the Duke. Hey, today we're going to be going over a couple running backs, um, looking up for this 2020 football season. Um, hey, before we get started, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're going to continue putting a couple videos out of uh, certain players or certain team situations going into the season this year. And then I think in another week or two, we'll eventually start putting out some strategy videos. So stay tuned in those for your draft strategies. But right now, today, we're going to be looking at the Chiefs' backfield, all right? And I know there's a lot of people out there, you know, that have, uh, you know, some questions about this and who to draft and are they reliable. So we're going to look at a couple stats here this morning, and uh, we're going to see what we can come up with in this Chiefs' backfield and see what we think, you know, that we can try and get for this season out of the Chiefs' backfield and what they may do. So let's dive into it a little bit and let's see what we can find. All right, so first thing we got here, you know, we got Damian Williams and the new rookie, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, all right? So first thing coming out of this Kansas City backfield for last season stats, um, you know, and the season before, you know, 2018 and 2019, Kansas City actually has quite a few carries. But, you know, if we look at that 280 carries to running backs that they kind of average, that's actually closer what we would like to see for one running back. Now, obviously, we're not going to get 280 out of one running back, but this just means that if this ends up being a split backfield, like a 50-50 or a 60-40, I mean, you're looking at almost, you know, 100 and maybe 80 carries to each player, which really isn't a lot for a starting running back in fantasy football. So we want to keep an eye on it. That's definitely something that we notice here looking at those stats right off the bat, all right? So also, Kansas City, you know, 100 receptions to running backs between 2018 and 2019. So obviously, that's a plus. We uh, know that Patrick Mahomes, they, used to, they like to dump the ball off, get him to the running backs out of the backfield. So in a PPR, half PPR league, that's definitely a plus for what we're looking for. Obviously, they like to split that up between different running backs, and they're never using quite the same one. But that is a couple more receptions that can go to running backs throughout the field. See, last season, Damian Williams um, averaged uh, 30 receptions out of the backfield, or didn't average, he had 30 receptions out of the backfield. And, you know, for that being kind of the star, I think LaShawn McCoy only had like 36. So they're averaging about 35 receptions out of the backfield um, last season in fantasy. So in a scenario, like I said earlier, if it were to be 50-50, Damian Williams and Clyde Edwards Hilaire, you're looking at 160 carries and 50 receptions per. Um, that's obviously nowhere near what we would like to see. So hopefully we don't know which running back it will be that's gonna get the more stats or better stats, but that's not enough for an RB2 to carry our team. It's, I mean, that's kind of RB3, RB4 numbers. So that might be what we're leaning at here with these running backs if it's gonna be a split backfield. And the only reason why I keep bringing up split backfield is that I think a lot of people think that Clyde Edwards Hilaire is just going to come in and take over that backfield. But let's not forget that Damian Williams and Andy Reid, they're kind of a pair. And Andy Reid does this when he goes places. You know, it was LaShawn McCoy with the Eagles. And now we're out here and all of a sudden Damian Williams is still hanging around. So, you know, I, I don't see Damian Williams just falling off the board completely. So when you draft Clyde Edwards Hilaire, be prepared for that. Especially don't draft him too early. All right. He's definitely somebody that you want to take. Possibly if you can get him, I'd take him in the fourth round. I see him kind of going in the third in some, and I think that's possibly going to be a little too early for our comfort, especially with a rookie and another running back that we know the head coach actually likes. All right, so Damian Williams, do not forget, he is not going anywhere this season. He will be there. He will get at least 30 to 40 percent at the at the mid total bottom. He's going to get 30 to 40 percent of the backfield carries this year. All right. So, like I was saying, you know, Kansas City, they find ways to get running backs touchdown. A lot of it, you know, receptions out of the backfield, running the ball. There will be people that are going to put up points per week out of this backfield, and obviously, everybody wants a piece of that high-flying Chiefs offense with Patrick Mahomes. So, you know, draft them, know that they are gonna score and they are gonna put up some points, but it is going to be a share, all right? So do not forget that. Um, you know, like I said, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, he really does have to take over the backfield to return 
third round pick. I mean, he has to completely take it over and have like a 70-30 or if not even an 80-20 to give you back what you're drafting at that point. And I personally don't see that happening. Like I said, the COVID thing right now, I know we want to roll our eyes to it, it is what it is. But if we play football this season, these rookies aren't going to get that timeshare. Now, running back is an easy position to come in and just play because, you know, a 32 draw is not that hard. It's just figuring out the information. And a running back's been running a draw or a zone read since they were in high school, since they were in middle school football. So that's nothing new. The hard part about rookie running backs is pass blocking and pass protection. And let's not forget, Patrick Mahomes just signed that big monstrous uh, contract this offseason. And Kansas City is going to want to protect what they just paid for. So who's going to start at the beginning, week one, week two? Who's definitely going to have more snaps than the other? Damian Williams is going to play probably the first three to four weeks. You're going to see more carries out of Damian Williams than you are Clyde edwards Flair, just completely off of pass block and protection because they haven't had time to pick up the schemes yet. They haven't had time to practice it. We're looking at no preseason play possibly. So right off the bat, you are you got Clyde edwards Flair possibly getting little shares the first four weeks. Now, the good thing is, I do think he's the better running back by far. He's more athletic. Um, you know, if he can get rolling and he can do the pass block pickups, by mid-season to half, he could be somebody that gets you into the playoffs by the end of the year. I mean, I, I really think that he could take off, but he's going to have a slow start, especially with Patrick Mahomes. You know, a lot of teams that drafted a rookie running back, they're ready to put him in, and they don't have anyone else. But Damian Williams is there, and he knows the offense, he knows the schemes, and he read likes him, and he played for the last two seasons, so he can pick up any read that they need to protect their new big contract quarterback. So, like I said, I definitely see this going slow start for Clyde Edwards. So you might even be able to trade for him around like week four, you know, and that, that might not be a bad way to do it. If you don't pick him up, but you really want him and he just gets taken, definitely watch for him. And you could pick him up probably around week four where he's not getting as many carries or anything out of that field. And Damian Williams looks like he's going to be the more sufficient running back out of that field and then you might be able to pick him up pretty cheap all right so you know based off of what i see here um kansas city running backs last year um they had 17 touchdowns so there are touchdowns to go around all right so it's a high charge high flying team they're gonna put up points there's gonna be touchdowns to the running backs there's gonna be some receptions as well so in a pbr half ppr you know i don't they, they seem like decent running backs. And Damian Williams might actually be a running back to get later on in the draft. And you can use him for those first three or four weeks and then try and trade him when everybody thinks that Damian Williams is going to be the KC running back. All right. So, hey, like I said, it's Aaron here again. It's, this is the Duke. Our expectation this season for the Chiefs running back backfield and uh, Damian Williams, Clyde Edwards Lair. Um, I see, um, you know, Clyde Edwards Hilaire finishing close to Philip Lindsay's stat line last season. Um, Philip Lindsay finished running back 19. So, you know, if you're in a 12 team league, obviously, if he's going to be your RB2, he needs to finish somewhere between 13 and 24. All right. And I think he can do that. So, like I said, don't draft him too early, but that would put him in a third round. So, like I said, the Damian Williams thing still kind of gets me a little bit, but I mean, if you can get him in the fourth, then take him in the fourth. I mean, I would take Clyde edwards Lair in the fourth round any time of the week, all right? And then our stat line, you know, for Damian Williams himself, I actually see him still being somewhat relevant, and I see him finishing around Duke Johnson last season in 2019, which finished running back 29, all right? So, like I said, he could be an RB3, RB4 on your team. There might even be a couple of weeks where you could use him as a... Um, a flex and like I said I, I think there will be more shares out of this backfield still I don't think Damian Williams is, is just gone all right so anyways like I said hey we're back here thanks for tuning in this is what we got in the Chiefs running back uh, backfield for this season um, we're going into a couple more here we got a couple videos coming up but like I said hit that like hit the subscribe and we'll see you guys later